I'm your host, Nate Burleson. Transitioning out of the game was something that you can't prepare for. You know, I look at football as a relationship that I was in. And then as soon as you get comfortable within this marriage, she looks at you and she says, I can't do this anymore. And an athlete would be lying to you if you said that didn't hurt. So that was when I started juggling all of these different jobs. I'm the host of Good Morning Football. I have a couple of clothing lines. I'm also a full-time father. Um, I have more jobs than I have time in the day. Baines & Baker is a suit line, and it's an affordable luxury suit line. I was always told as an athlete, you feel good, you play good. If you play good, they pay good. I feel like the same thing applies to men. I remember spending like $10,000 on a few suits because I had no idea. No, 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 you can make these suits for an inexpensive price and not bop people over the head for it. And that was the motivation behind providing great suits for a generation of young men that don't like wearing suits. What I thought to myself is, what if we make a line that you can break down a suit four or five different ways and you can wear it year round? Everyone's wearing a t-shirt. He's like, I want to be different. So he'd like cut up the sleeves and, you know, cut up the bottoms and just do things to be different and stand out. And that's what Baines and Baker allows him to do. My personality is I have to do something different. That's just the way I am. And I wanted to put that fingerprint on my clothing line. So when you're walking around, you do feel like an individual. We're different, embrace that side of you. So our brand is based off of that. We started from the very basic suits you might find off the rack somewhere to now some next level stuff. So it's all measurements too. If I mean, if it fits well, people naturally think it's more expensive because it's not baggy, it's not loose. And one of the cool things now that we have is, again, we're changing the game. So with our newest technology, three pictures, head to toe, every single body measurement, wherever you are in the world. It's a very competitive field. You have to be comfortable with fighting your way through the, the rough period. One Seat Apparel is a clothing line, active wear line for the average fan that wants to blend sports and fashion. Customization is key to me. I think everything has to be very fluid. And that's what One Seat is. We can make anything at the drop of a hat. I'm all about empowerment. So for me, I, I wanted to make sure that I tap into these things. And I, and I started very young. As I got older, I realized the power in speaking. And to be honest, being young and African-American, sometimes there's misconceptions that are placed on you. And I want my kids to be in a position where they can shatter that misconception or stereotype and reinforce the fact that a young athlete can be just as articulate as anybody else in that room. To see him speak into them and show them why it's important to speak, how to speak, how to be comfortable in your own skin, and that's what he's trying to instill in them. In certain families, there's just a generational place that you're in financially, and that's all you know. But if you have an opportunity to change that, then take on it. That's why it's important right now to focus on the finances and not be money hungry for the wrong reasons. Young athlete, the whole point is to be rich. But then as you get older, you're like, what's the point of being rich if you're wasting it? Especially if you have an opportunity to be wealthy. And in order to be wealthy, you have to keep your finances in check. If I'm investing in a clothing line, I gotta know what's going on. How much money am I gonna invest? How much money do I need? So for me, just understanding what you're getting into before you get into it. And people oftentimes ask, like, why do you work so much? Like, it's not really work when you're doing it for people you genuinely care about, you know? And when I first moved to New York, I was just taking on jobs as they were offered to me. From there, I realized that I was putting my energy in the wrong places, working jobs that I didn't really want to work. And now, I know what I want to do, I know what I like to do, and I know what makes me money. So finding the balance between those three it gives me a peace of mind. Hustle means not seeing the finish line. I can't think about the business I'm building five years from now. I gotta think about the work I'm putting in today. That's all life is. It's all businesses. It's just a collection of moments. So if you can take it one play at a time, one moment at a time, that's the right type of hustle.